In this video, we'll go through how to place analytical tools, objects and indicators onto your charts, as well as how to change timeframes. MT5 comes with a large variety of time periods for your use. There are two ways to change timeframes of your chart. First is through the Quick Launch Toolbar. Another is via the right-click pop-up menu. By default, the Time Frame Quick Launch Toolbar is not activated. You can activate it by clicking on the View in the menu and selecting Time Frame. To launch a time frame, select the chart window and click on the desired time frame on the toolbar. M denotes minutes, H is hours, D is for day, W means week, and MN means month. Alternatively, you can also right click on the chart and select the time frame desired from the pop up menu. MT5 also comes with indicators for your use. Adding an indicator to the charts on MT5 can be done through the Navigator panel. Within the Navigator panel, indicators are located in the drop down menu on the left hand side. Expand the indicator menu and then search for the desired indicator. To include the indicator onto the charts, simply drag and drop the indicator onto the chart. An indicator parameter window will appear. At this stage, you can alter any of the indicator parameters required, and then select OK when you're done. Once the indicator is being added to the chart, you can adjust it or delete it by right-clicking on the chart and selecting the indicator from the indicator list. More indicators can be found in the menu bar. Click on Insert to see the list of available indicators. You can find a range of analytical tools available for you in MT5. The most popular ones are located on the Quick Launch toolbar, such as the Equidistant Channel, Trend Lines, and the Fibonacci tool. To activate them onto your chart, click once on their icon. In this case, we'll choose the Horizontal Line tool. Once selected, click and drop where you like the horizontal line to be placed on your chart. To adjust the line, double click on it, and you'll see little boxes at both ends. This tells you it's not locked in place. You can now shift up or down the line as desired. Right click on the object and select horizontal line properties. Within this option menu, you can change the color, thickness, type of line that you wish to see. In addition, you can also direct the object to a specific price level or make it appear in only certain time frames. Once done, Click on OK and double click on the object again to lock it into place and avoid any accidental deletions. To remove an object from the screen, double click on it and then press the delete key on your keyboard. Alternatively, right click and select delete object. More tools can be found in the menu bar. Click on insert to see the list available. And with that, we have come to the end of this video.